8 News. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Diana Davis. The holidays are known for bringing joy, but sometimes people have to experience them alone. Our Jake Tester spoke with a specialist to get more information on what people go through this time of year. And Jake, what did they tell you? Yeah, Diana, sometimes you can find yourself in a situation where you are alone for the holidays. You're not doing anything wrong. You're not doing anything bad. You're not grieving badly, but you are grieving and things are different. There's always situations where we lose a loved one. And when that happens, there's sadness. And for a lot of people, that resurfaces around the holiday season as memories of the past holidays come back into play. Because of traditions and memories and just kind of the, the feeling around us during the holidays, it can really make our grief surge which is a feeling a lot of people will have to experience this holiday season. But there are ways to try and handle the grief of being alone. Best thing that grievers can do for themselves during the holidays, especially as they you know, feel more um, loneliness maybe with their grief, is to acknowledge this is where I am this year. Angela Kelly, administrator for Baptist Centers for Good Grief, added that saying to yourself, it won't always be like this, is another way to handle some of the loneliness. I don't have to rewrite our family history, what we're going to do moving forward. We can just do this year, this year. And grieving can affect you in other ways, so it's important to take care of yourself. Live in studio, Jake Tester, K8 News.